Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. So I did a video a while back on the new Smart Things component. And though I thought it was awesome that you didn't have to use the uh, MQTT bridge anymore uh, to be able to communicate with your Smart Things uh, devices, I didn't like the fact that you had to open up Home Assistant externally. Well, now with version 0 0.90 and later, you no longer have to have your Home Assistant uh, version open externally. So because of that, I thought it was time to do a follow-up video on the SmartThings component and just uh, reiterate what you need to do once you have upgraded to the uh, version 0 0.90 or later to get the SmartThings component back working correctly. As I was saying, there are so many cool features that came out with uh, 0 0.90. Um, as you already probably saw my video on the remote UI, by setting that up, we didn't need to have Home Assistant open externally anymore. So it made it very cool to be able to access uh, Home Assistant using uh, the uh, Nabucasa Home Assistant Cloud. A side effect to uh, removing your external access to your Home Assistant configuration it caused the smart things component to stop working because it required external access as well. So here we're going to run through what you need to do to get your smart things component working properly again. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, we'll just verify our has version because like I said, you will need to be on 0 0.90 for this to work properly. Uh, once we do that, we're going to remove our existing smart things configuration. Once we removed our SmartThings configuration, then we're going to go ahead and create another personal access token in the SmartThings API. And then lastly, of course, we're just going to add everything back into Home Assistant so that everything is communicating properly again. So let's get started. So guys, we need to make sure you're on version 0.90. Uh, and you should already know how to do that, but if you don't, go ahead and hit the little eye over here on the left-hand bottom side of the menu. And as you can see, uh, my current version is 0 0.90.1. As of this video, I think it's on like 0 0.91.3, so uh, I'm actually a little bit behind. But once you've confirmed that you're on the right version and did any updates that you needed to do to get there, uh, we can move on to the next step. All right, so we need to uh, remove or clear out our existing SmartThings configuration so that we can add it back for everything to work properly. So we're going to go to configuration, click on integrations. And as you can see, there's my SmartThings config there at the top. We're just going to select that. And in the top corner, there should be like a little trash can. We'll hit delete, we'll say okay. And now our SmartThings configuration is gone. And just to make sure that it did get all the way cleared out, we're gonna restart Home Assistant for those changes to take effect. So I've jumped over to Portainer here. I'm gonna select restart. Give that a second to come back up. All right, and one last thing is we're gonna remove our existing personal access token just to make sure everything is cleared out as it should be. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, but we're gonna click on the link that takes you to the personal access token page uh, in the SmartThings API. Of course, you'll have to sign in. Once you get logged in, of course, this is where you also will generate new tokens, but we're just gonna delete the existing one that we had. Uh, once you have it deleted, that should be everything that we need to clear out uh, for us to move forward with starting our new SmartThings configuration. All right, so back on that same page that we were just at, we're going to say create a new token. At the top, we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call mine Home Assistant. All right, so... Uh, Authorized scopes, we're going to select devices, installed apps, locations, apps, and then jump down to schedules 
and scenes. Once you have all those selected, we'll say generate token, and it should come up with a long token uh, of a bunch of numbers and letters. We'll hit copy token, because we're gonna use that here in just a second. Once you've done that, then we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so now we're ready to add it back into Home Assistant. So on my uh, Home Assistant web front end, we're gonna click on configuration and integrations. And then we're gonna scroll down until we find the smart things component. We'll hit configure and it's gonna ask for a personal access token. We just copied that. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that here and hit okay. Now it says, please install the smart app at least one location and click submit. So we're gonna jump over to the uh, iOS app. We're gonna click on smart apps. We'll say add a smart app down at the bottom. You should be able to scroll down to where it says my apps. From here, we're gonna click on home assistant at the top. That's the one that we just created. And it gives us the opportunity to change the name if we want. I'm just gonna leave it home assistant. We'll say done. It asks for authorization, so we'll say allow. And now it says successfully installed. Now we can go back to Home Assistant where it uh, told us to install the smart app and hit submit. And as you can see, it says success and it has pulled in all of my devices again that I had in SmartThings. So we'll be able to say finish. And there it is in the top part, SmartThings Home. And it has all of my devices there with all the different uh, things that it is currently monitoring. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, so again, this was just to make sure that you understood how to set up the smart things component now that uh, you no longer need external access into home assistant pretty easy to set up if you're using smart things uh, this makes things so much easier now that we don't need the uh, mqtt bridge anymore and it pulls in everything automatically it is awesome let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video so we started by making sure we had the right has our home assistant version uh, once we verified that we were on 0 0.90 or later, then we removed our existing SmartThings config. Once it was all cleared out, uh, we generated a new personal access token. And then lastly, we just added everything back into Home Assistant. That's it, guys. I hope this video helped. Um, I've had a SmartThings hub for a long time. Um, I know a lot of people uh, have moved over to just a regular Z-Wave stick or a Zigbee stick or something like that, but I figure I'll use it until it stops working on me before I move over. So for other people that are also using the SmartThings Hub, hopefully this gets you uh, communicating again uh, with Home Assistant. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.